you already know how to find out volume of a cube that is side into side into side length of a side multiplied with itself three times now you know that whenever any number is multiplied with itself three times we represent it as the cube of that number so your side into side into side means side cube so suppose one side of this rubik's cube is say 5 cm well we just take it supposedly so now if i ask you to find out the volume of this it is very easy to find out just find out the cube of 5 and you will get the answer that is 125 cm cube now it may not be the case always that you get any whole number here for the length of any side of an now it may not be the case always where you may get a whole number as a length of any side of a cube object cubic object so it may be like a fraction or it may also be a decimal where say at uh, the length of the side of this rubik's cube is 5.5 cm then how will you find out the volume of this rubik's cube now you know that volume is cube of any length of a side so here the side is 5.5 cm so volume will be the cube of this side for that you need to know how to find out the cube of a decimal number well any whole number when we have to find out the cube of that number you just multiply it to itself three times but here what will you do will you change the process well no here also we will do the same thing multiply 5.5 to itself three times well by basic multiplication that is 5.5 into 5.5 then getting the answer and then multiplying it again with 5.5 will give you the answer that is around 166.375 cm cube so this is how we find out the volume of a cube or you can say that the cube of a decimal number can be found out like this that is similar to finding out the cube of any whole number so you saw that a decimal number can be cube to give us a cube number as well so you know that the inverse operation of a cube is the cube root you can see 4 is cubed to give us 64 now to get the number 4 back from 64 we have to cube root this number we do the inverse operation of cube similarly any cube number in the form of decimal can also be cube rooted to give us a decimal number of whose cube will give us that decimal cube number so suppose so suppose we are given that 0.729 this is a cube number and we have to find out the cube root of this number how will you find out well this is not very simple you cannot find it by any other method but the method which i am going to teach you 0.729 is a decimal number but it can be written as a fraction also do you know how to write a decimal like as a fraction well it can be written as 729 by 1000 do you get this well you can see that the decimal point is placed before these three numbers so just counting 1 2 and 3 and whenever we have to convert it into fraction write in the denominator 1 and the number of digits written here in the same number of digits you have to write zeros over here suppose the digits here are 729 so 1 2 3 3 digits after the decimal point so we'll add three zeros here this becomes the fraction number for this decimal now we know how to find out the cube root of a fraction number a cube root of a fraction can be taken out by cube root of the numerator divided by cube root of the denominator so after we convert a decimal into a fraction we can use this method and it will give us our answer 
So finding out cube root of 0 0.729. So we what we did? We converted 0 0.729 into a fraction. That is 729 by 1000. Now we'll use that formula to further do it. Now cube rooting this will give me the cube root of this or vice versa cube rooting this will give me the cube root of this. So I let us proceed with this one. Well, we know that cube root of a fraction, how we take it out? We cube root the numerator separately divided by the cube root of denominator. So let us write this. So now let us factorize both these numbers separately and see what do we get. Now you know how to do that factorization. So tell me what are the factors of 729 and what are the factors of 1000? Well, when you factorize the number 729, what you will get? This. How many times? 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So six, 3 multiplied with itself 6 times. Similarly, when you factorize 1000, what will you get? Well, you could say that instead of writing 3 so many times, this could also be written as this. Because 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 3, 9. Because whenever we cube root things, we need numbers in groups of 3. And 9 is the number which when multiplied with itself 3 times gives us 729. So this can be written as this and it will be correct. Similarly, how can we write 1000 instead of using 2 and 5? Well, 10 into 10 into 10 gives us 1000. See, 2 into 5, 10, 2 into 5, 10, 2 into 5, 10. Right? So this 1000 can also be written like this. 10 into 10 into 10. So any of these methods is correct. Now you can see that we are having 3 here, 3 times and 3 here, 3 times. So 2 groups we are having. So one number taken out from each group. And even here we are having 2 3 times and 5 3 times here. So taking out one number from this group and one number from this group. 2 into 5. What will you get? You will get 9 by 10. Now even if we had used the second method where we had got this. What would you get? Will the, would the answer be different? No. You would get 9 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator. And see what you've got here? The same thing. So this can be written as 9 by 10, which is 0 0.9. So remember, if you are given a decimal number to cube root, then write the answer in decimal form only. Do not leave it in a fraction. So now you know how to find out cube root of a decimal. Let's summarize. First of all, cube root of a decimal, when we have to find out, convert the decimal to a fraction. You know how to convert decimals into fraction? That is a very basi basic thing. So a decimal can be first converted to a fraction. And then it is very easy to find out the cube root of a fraction by cube rooting the numerator divided by cube root of the denominator. So whenever you are having a decimal and you have to cube root it, first convert it into fraction and then use the formula for cube root of a fraction.